Papa Lim Brothers is here today in Cabana. And we are located within the Sunrise Way and Cliff. And we have an almost brand new 103 years leasehold cluster landed that's just under the $3 million mark. If you're a small family looking for a great size master bedroom, direct pool access only through north south facing, then do come and check out this unit with us. Let's go. Let's go. This beautiful project is developed by Fai's organization, one of Singapore's most renowned developers over here. Kapana comprises of 119 terrace houses with lots of facilities for your families and kids to enjoy. This development TOP in 2015 with a tenure of 103 years leasehold starting from 2009. This means that we still enjoy a great balance lease of 88 years as of year 2024. And this is great because if you have plans to use this as a private home and 10 years later, you still have a balance lease of about 78 years to pass on to the next buyer which will increase the bias pool and as the audiences. This property that we are showing you is a 3-bed, 4-bath layout configuration standing at 2917 square feet which spans across 3 main levels including the open roof terrace and the basement. You also have your very personal own basement car park which can park up to 2 cars comfortably. On level 1, you have a very decent sized dry and wet kitchen, dining hall with access to outdoor patio, well-sized living hall with a premium house that has direct pool access. And on your way up to level 2, you have your study corner or family area just before reaching the master room. And the whole entire master room, which is extremely generous in size, takes up the whole entire level 2. On level 3, there's two common bedrooms, one ensuite, one common bath, and the top level, which is a roof terrace, that's the open space perfect for hosting gatherings with your friends and family members. Alright, so now let's check out the interior of the house. Hey Google, open the curtains. <laughs> so here we are on level 1 and this would be the grand main living hall of this entire house and what you first notice is the 4 meter ceiling height and of course it comes with a 6 square meters of void space but however you get to exchange this luxurious of a great ceiling height and this gives you great distance as well. This house was renovated about 4 years ago with modern luxury steam and it comes fitted with beautiful chandeliers, nice spotlights and lighting. What I love is this beautiful full slab kind of marble, beautiful greens that spans the entire living, dining and even the kitchen area. An owner has also found a coffee table that matches uh, really well with the flooring. You have three and a half meters in width. You have a great distance from the couch area and the TV area. This grand feature wall really classy. It comes with huge trimming of glass panels. It looks like a showroom masterpiece. Let me highlight with you the USP of this property itself. This is of course the premium stack was indicated by the developers. Why is this so? Because of this north-south orientation. This particular area nice and clear here does has its own private exclusive area because only five of the neighbors uses this space technically there's no other residents that they will come over here because there's a step that separates between this area and of course towards there will be the main pool area a lovely balcony space you can put in your outdoor chairs there's also a water tap if you like to wash the area or if you can put some planters or plants And heading towards the dining, what you'll notice is the spaciousness of this whole entire space because of the almost 4.5 meters in length. It's nicely fitted with designer lights. You have a mirror at your dining. I personally love this classy black mosaic tiles that really suits this whole entire house. It's currently fitted with four-seater dining set. However, if you like a larger dining, that's also possible. Just uh, remove the piano over here. 
And so heading into the kitchen, owner has redone this kitchen also about four years back. It comes fitted with fully entire bloom system, top-notch appliances like Bosch, Cooker Hood, Hop, and inbuilt oven. There's actually two components over here. You have your dry pantry area, which comprises of your microwave and also your kitchen appliances, together with a fridge as well. There's also a tap that separates up between the two areas, L-shaped kind of setting with top and bottom cabinetries. So if you touch your heavy cooking, that will be the U-shaped kitchen with a solid glass that can close up. You have your sink here, preparation top. Lastly, you know what? You have the luxury of an air condition. This will cool the entire kitchen area. This area will lead you to the backyard of this house. Beautiful space. If you like to have more greens or even have your potter plants or bonsai place outside. So for this tag, you do get a pocket of opening. It allows natural lights and good airflow to this space. This will lead you to the facility area of this development. Looking at the side plan, you'll notice that this resembles a mini flagship. In Kabana, there are three main facing. Predominantly, there will be the northeast facing, northwest facing, and the direct north-south facing. So ours is a north-south facing, which is the premium facing, and only the north-south units have direct access to the pool area. And ours being the tail end corner of this development, this gives you added privacy of private pool within this vicinity. This gives us the premium of the premium. Heading down to the basement, this would be the main access area of this house. It comes fitted with two parking lots. Heading in, this would be the guest bathroom. It's a full-fledged bathroom. It comes fitted with shower and WC and a proper sink. This would be the household shelter. This would be the dedicated utility area. It comes fitted with a see-through glass door. You can change this to an OPEC door as well. Heading in, currently is fitted with dry and washer. There's air well over here. This allows you to have airflow that comes into this whole entire space. So this space, what you can do is you you can use this as additional storeroom if you have lots of stuff or you can use this as a utility room for the helper because this space is sufficient for you to fit in a good size single bed. Alternatively, you can simply convert this into an elderly living area because this is a space that you have direct access to the car porch area and that leads you directly into this space so that the elderly folks in your family do not need to climb up the stairs. So you can combine these two areas into one. This area, you can use it as your entry area simply by putting in cabinetries and also a sink area as well. So now let's hand the time over to Colleen and she'll show you the rest of the house. So as we head on up to level 2, before you hit the master bedroom, you actually have this cozy corner for you. So you can either deck this up as like a study room, you can always do maybe perhaps a mini glass panel here also to enclose it. Otherwise, you can keep it open, study corner, relaxing corner, chill out lunch, perhaps even a mini bar of your own liking. So definitely this is a flexible area for you to cater to the needs of your family. And now let's continue heading up. This is your super super spacious master bedroom and in fact there are actually three beta layouts available at size 2917 as well as four beta layouts available for this same size at 2917 square feet. So the main difference really comes down to the spacious master bedroom. So for the three beta layout, what you're getting is this complete master bedroom all on level 2, all just for you. Whereas on the four bedroom layout, of course the level 2 is being shared between the main master as well as one common room, that's how you're gonna get four bedroom. Just take a look at how massive this entire master bedroom is. You have sort of like your own mini living room right within your bedroom you have your built-in tv console nicely done up here you can always add in like a lounge chair here and then you still have ample space to fit in like a super size king size bed over here you can always custom make your bed also coming back to our smart home feature so hey google turn off the chandelier Yeah. So of course, I think that with smart home system is great because let's say you're tired, you just kind of want to go to bed, you forgot to off the light, all you need to do is voice activate or you just use your phone to control the app. The owners have placed a lot of careful thought into the lighting element of the house. So for example, there's a lot of like cold lights, down lights, warm lights, white lights within the bedroom to give different kind of ambiances depending on your mood of the day. You have your own personal walk-in wardrobe. The current setup is that you have complete glass panels. At the same time, it's going to allow a lot of natural lighting to flow into your clothing area as well. And Heading into the master bathroom, you'll notice there's dual of everything. Dual sink, large format mirror for you to check out yourself. More lighting that's already been done up. Dual shower in the sense that this is actually a standing shower. So you can see it's a very fancy solo shower set that's already been nicely installed here. And on this side, you have another standing shower that's more like a sunken bath setup. So perhaps for people who love taking like a hot tub within your house, I think this is also one area that you can reconfigure to fit in your own personal liking. Right behind the door, it's a corner for all all your 
your storage needs. And I think that's great because if you want to hide all your toiletries or you want to hide all your towels, that it will be the perfect place for you to do so. So another smart home feature that's being implemented is actually a sensor motion. Meaning to say the moment you just walk in, all the lights will turn on by itself. You don't need to go and switch on any lights. The smart home system here is up for discussion. If you want it, we are happy to discuss leaving it behind. But if not, it will be taken away after the sale. I just want to re-highlight this door. This door is super huge. That also comes to show how big this master bedroom is because very rarely in a master bedroom you get two panel of doors. So this is another feature that's going to allow your master bedroom to feel a lot more brand as well. So let's talk more about the location. We are here at Cabana. So Cabana is located along the Sunrise Landed Enclave. And this is one of the bigger cluster landed projects being located in this vicinity. And I think people who love coming to Sunrise are people who naturally enjoy something that's quieter, yet you want convenience because we are just two to three minutes drive away from the CTE. Yet at the same time, you're not going to get any of those highway noises because we are located quite a distance away from the main CTE. So this is a quiet private enclave for you to consider. If you have school going children and they want to take the public transport is also very easy. All you need to do is just walk up to the main road area and from there you have direct buses towards town area, Lantau MRT as well as Yochukang MRT. So in future, we're also going to get Lantau Modern which is going to feature an integrated project meaning to say there's going to be retail options for you right at the MRT area too. But if not, for any other daily conveniences, just under 10 to 12 minutes drive, you can reach like Amokyo Hub, Salita Mall, Greenwich Mall, Sengkang Grand Mall, Waterway Point, Compass One, Chom Chom, Food Centre, My Village at Serangoon as well. So there is lots of different options for you to hit on depending on your preference. And I think one of the greatest perks of being in a cluster landed with a lot more units is that you're going to get much more facilities compared to all your boutique projects or perhaps compared to living in a pure landed. You have like your swimming pool, direct pool access, you have like all your spa pools, your barbecue pits, even a KTV room as well as a function room right within this project. <laughs> you have two common bedrooms, one being en suite, one is a standalone, but you do have a common bathroom right outside. So meaning to say that actually all your bedrooms here come with their own private bathroom as well. It's very comfortable size. You can definitely put in like a queen size bed. You also have your built-in wardrobe done. It has its own mirror finishings. And I think you can always creatively make use of the bay window space. So for example, if you want to have a bigger bedroom, what you can potentially do is to build in a platform bed along this bay window area. That's going to free up some of the common walkway space for you right over there. Common bathroom still in well kept condition. You have your standing shower, your WC as well as your vanity top already nicely done up. So this bathroom positioning is also great because let's say if you're hosting gatherings, you're going to make use of that open roof terrace. Then technically your guests don't need to go all the way back to level one to use the common bathroom. They can just make use of this one and then easily head back up. So coming into junior master room because this room comes with your own ensuite bathroom. Great size, right now it's already fitted in with a queen size bed. So all this setup here is already built in. You already have like a mini study table area with some storage underneath as well. And the owner still can fit in the comfortable study desk area here. So of course, entire house has been decked up in wallpapers. If that's not something that you are after, you can always tear it down, give it a fresh coat of paint and transform the renovations into your own liking. And so coming into this bathroom, you already have your standing shower. So it's a pretty large standing shower in fact. We also have your WC, your vanity top, all in well kept condition but of course similarly if you want to give this a complete brand new look, feel free to renovate this space into your own liking. Now let's head up to the roof terrace where we'll talk more about what are some of the potential you can do on that open roof terrace space. Welcome to the open roof terrace. Right now, this is a complete open space, multifunctional in the sense that if you want to use this as a yoga deck, you can choose to do so. Barbecue parties, hosting gatherings, this is a perfect spot because you already have like a water point over there. There's a sink for you to do up all your dirty dishes. There's also electrical plugs over here for you to have your like electrical grill, a barbecue pit, or even if let's say you want to transform this area to the main laundry area, you can always put in your washer dryer here as well. And I think what you should also do for weathers like that, to have a semi-enclosed area. So for example, like what our neighbours have done, they've really done like a fixed structure together with some blinds and zip track as well. So similarly, I think you can apply that concept here as well so that you have sort of like an open and enclosed area. Great for hosting parties and for those who love gardening, there's already a main gardening area here for you as well. So those with green fingers, this is a great space for you. So there's a lot of potential on this roof terrace to make it more user-friendly for your family needs. <laughs> the home tour 
if you're a small family looking for a cluster landed with tons of facilities for your loved ones, direct pool access, super spacious master bedroom, here in Cabana, do come and check out this unit with us. And if you love this property, do contact our listing managers with the link down below and do remember to hit like and subscribe to all our social media platforms. I'm Adrian Lim, Kelly Leong, Property Lim Brothers, Brothers, always, always happy, happy to show you the place. Oh, hi. Hey, Paola. 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 <laughs> Let me do some trellis. It's raining, but we'll do this quickly. Okay. Where was I? I said this, yeah. Oh man, it's 